Tonight, the community came together in Lincoln County to honor the lives of three teenagers who died in a car crash. Two others survived last weekend's crash, but are still recovering tonight in the hospital. Five on your side's Laura Barcheski was there for a lantern release in memory of the young lives lost. Classmates, family, and friends of 18-year-old William Flickinger, 15-year-old Caden Tyler, known as KK, and 17-year-old Emily McNeese gathered in Troy's Fairground Park to remember each life taken too soon. These kids need a place to grieve together. They haven't had that opportunity at the school. So I just wanted to put something together so that these kids can be together with their families, with the community, with each other, and um, just get to have a moment with their friends and say their goodbyes. Friends hugged each other and wiped the tears away as they shared the last memories they have of their beloved friends. Pauline Daniels remembers a special moment with her friend KK. I know he had walked over to my house one night and uh, we were just joking around and he was like picking me up and throwing me everywhere and he just, he was such a good kid and um, he was loved by so many and he made an impact on everybody that was absolutely crazy. She says everyone hurt or killed in that crash on South Chantilly Road was someone she cared about. I think when I got the text that KK had passed on, um, it broke my heart. I instantly dropped to my knees. It was probably the worst feeling I ever experienced. Everyone had a chance to write something on their own paper lantern. Yeah, we let them put whatever they want on the lanterns. I think when we think of somebody passing on, we think of looking up. And so I think the lanterns is a perfect way to do that. They hope each lantern filled with messages saying I love you and I miss you will be lifted up to their loved ones. I think that the whole community, whether we know these families or these kids or not, is grieving. Each lantern released tonight honors the memory of KK Will and Emily. Each of them lost their lives in a car crash. KK's friend says she feels like he's here tonight wrapping the community in love. I feel like he's here with us right now. I feel like he's standing with all of us and uh, it just feels good to know that we're sending off a message. Reporting in Troy, Laura Barcheski, five on your side. There are several links where you can donate to help with funeral costs and medical expenses, and we have that information on KSDK.com.